So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder says that the British fans are begging for the Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder unification fight. To quote John T. Wilder here, he says, I'm blessed to have power that rules the division. I can't wait to give people what they've been looking for for so long. People have been begging for Wilder and Joshua, especially the British fans. They over-exaggerate a lot, which is okay. I like a country that stands behind their people. I'm the only American champion. If I was fighting for another country, I'd probably own that country. That's all going to change soon. It's going to be crazy. I'm about to take over, man. I'm about to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. So, John A. Wilder basically saying because he's an American fighter, he doesn't really get the recognition that an Anthony Joshua is getting because America is nearly seven times bigger than the UK in terms of population. Obviously, Britain is only a one island, whereas America is a massive place with nearly 400 million people, whereas Britain has 60 million people. And... A lot of British fans are getting behind Anthony Joshua. He's the biggest star in British boxing by a country mile. Like he is British boxing. He is the poster boy of British boxing right now. Whereas John A. Wilder, unless he fights in his home city of Alabama, he's not really known in America in terms of the casual fans. Like don't get me wrong, the hardcore boxing fans in the USA will know who John A. Wilder is. But he's not selling out 90,000 see arenas with people turning up who don't usually watch boxing to come and watch Anthony Joshua fight because it's an event it's a massive event and when John A. Wilder fights unless it's somewhere in the Barclays Center in New York what holds about 10,000 people like it's just total different comparisons and I understand John A. Wilder are not being happy about this because you got to look at it through John A. Wilder's eyes because when you're a guy like John A. Wilder who holds a piece of the heavyweight title and you're 37 and 0 with 36 knockouts, you're a dangerous puncher, you haven't lost before and you're thinking, well, why is this guy getting all this recognition and I'm not? So in John A. Wilder's mind, he needs this fight with Anthony Joshua. He needs to try and prove that he's the best heavyweight on the planet because if he dethrones Anthony Joshua... And picks up the other two titles. I think he will get the recognition he deserves. And maybe the casual audience will know who Deontay Wilder is a lot more. And he also goes on to say that he thinks the fight will sell 90,000 people. Just like Joshua and Klitschko. He said even though Joshua and Klitschko was the fight going on. People were still saying Joshua and Wilder. But I don't think the British fans know who Deontay Wilder is. As much as he thinks he those like the casual audience won't know who Deontay Wilder is at all. Like, I'm guessing more casual fans knew who Vladimir Klitschko was because he ruled the heavyweight division for 10 years. He fought Tyson Fury, that was a big fight as well. And a lot of people knew who Vladimir Klitschko was compared to Deontay Wilder in the UK. So, I'm not sure if it does 90,000. It definitely sells out an O2 Arena. It might even sell out a 50,000 stadium or a 60,000 stadium. You just don't know. I think Deontay Wilder would really need to sell the fight with Anthony Joshua for it to be a massive event. And in terms of the actual fight, let's actually go into that. You've got Deontay Wilder. I know a lot of people say Deontay Wilder is Deontay Windmill. He throws a lot of windmill shots, especially when he's got his guy hurt. He goes crazy, throws wild shots. And sometimes he can be a little bit clumsy with his footwork and he's not the most technically gifted boxer. But in my opinion, John A. Wilder is a lot better athlete than Anthony Joshua. He's a lot more athletic. He's a lot more looser. He's not as stiff and upright as Anthony Joshua. And I think he punches as hard, if not harder, than Anthony Joshua. I think if John A. Wilder hits any heavyweight flush on the chin, then it's night-night for him. Like... This guy is dangerous with that long right hand. Like, we saw how Anthony Joshua went down to Vladimir Klitschko. But I'm telling you now, 
if John A. Wilder clips Anthony Joshua like Vladimir Klitschko got him, I'm telling you, I don't think Anthony Joshua gets up. But then you you got to look at the flip side. you got Anthony Joshua, who's a lot more technically sounder than John A. Wilder. He's a lot bigger in terms of weight, so we might be able to outstrength Anthony Joshua, not Anthony Joshua. He might be able to outstrength John A. Wilder in there, Anthony Joshua. And he could just be too aggressive. He could put a lot of pressure on John A. Wilder. But this is the kind of fight I think if you blink you're going to miss something because both guys carry power and I don't know who I could favour for that fight I really don't I can't even pick who would win that fight because it's just such a dangerous fight for both men because both men hit extremely hard and it's just like a fantastic matchup in my opinion but I don't think we're going to see that fight this year even though John A. Wilder really does want this fight I think we're going to get Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko too because Vladimir Klitschko has got a couple of weeks to decide and a lot of people are saying because Vladimir Klitschko nearly had Joshua out of there he may have something left to prove but he could easily not take the rematch with Anthony Joshua he's got a rematch clause in his contract though so in my opinion why would he put a rematch clause in the contract for himself if he knew if he lost the fight he wasn't going to take the rematch it just seems to me like he added that rematch in there because he knew if he lost he would get the rematch and he would want the rematch you know what I'm saying and if it's not Vladimir Klitschko it's going to be Kubrat Pulev and that's a very underwhelming fight compared to the John A. Wilders and Klitschko's and Lewis Ortiz's of the world and the Joseph Parker's like Kubrat Pulev good boxer has decent power, was a very good amateur fighter, got battered by Vladimir Klitschko, but I just don't see him beating Anthony Joshua, and I just don't see that fight being a very competitive one, and I don't see it being very interesting, I see a lot of people complaining about that fight if it happens, because at the end of the day, Anthony Joshua, he's a cool guy, he's a calm guy, he's the poster boy and stuff like that, but when it comes to an actual build-up, He's not the most entertaining guy. Don't get me wrong, what he does in the ring sells, but when it comes to actually talking and trying to sell a fight, he's not the best at it. So I think Anthony Joshua needs someone who's going to rile the fans up, who's going to stick it on him outside the ring, who's going to tell him that they're the best and stuff like that. And I don't think Kubrat Pulev is the guy for that, so... Yeah, I'm just waffling on here now anyway. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.